What's going on guys, Alex here and welcome back to the channel. So today we are doing a quick little install video. So what I've got is some more goodies for the Golf. Ignore the exhaust, that's separate. Um, but yeah, so what we have here is the APR exhaust flat remote override system, whatever you want to call it. So basically it's literally just this little harness. What it does is it connects into the factory valves which will eventually get moved over to this exhaust when we go to fit the exhaust but since I'm waiting for the boys I thought I might as well install this first so it comes with two remotes basically on is valves open off valve closed slash goes back to the um, original factory setting so uh, comfort mode is valves closed and then race mode and depends how you've configured your individual mode then the, fa uh, then the valves open so it's pretty straightforward if we head on over to the car and have a look underneath. So let's see if we can get the angles. So you can sort of just about see the, the valve up there. So all we do is literally disconnect that, route the cabling uh, up behind the heat shields. That's where all of those cable tires and whatnot come in handy. So it just sort of clips onto there, cable tie the harness out of the way. And round here as well, you've got the other exhaust flap. And yeah, it's literally just a case of... Good flashbang! Jeez, any more exposure? There we go. Um, so yeah, it's literally just a case of unplug factory valves, plug in the new harness. There's a dummy plug that goes on one side as well, um, so that the original harness doesn't sort of uh, throw any errors or whatever and yeah it's literally as straightforward as that and then we've got a remote controlled um, uh, helps if my brain engages we've got a remote controlled exhaust valve system rather than allowing it to do its thing through the standard system which is what I wanted I had it on the S3 it was a very similar setup so I'd imagine installation is going to be the exact same so the standard exhaust doesn't make too much of a difference between open and closed valves, but because I've got the, the Cobra system going on as well, I just wanted a bit more control over it. So I know I've set up my individual mode to be comfort everything and valves open, but you know, it's just nice to have the, the remote. And sometimes you want it open on startup, which it doesn't do unless you code the valves to be open all the time, which I don't want. So this is just a, a nice way of uh, just doing everything how I want it to. So without further ado, let's unplug this, plug in the harness, get it all wired up and see if it works. Okay, so first up, we're just gonna reach up in here, disconnect the clip. Not that you can really see much, but I've got the disconnected clip here. So I believe this one just connects straight into here. I can put it in the correct way around that to help. And then this goes back into the motor up here. There's not much space on this side, so it is a little bit tricky, but it's not impossible. And that clicks in. And then we move on over to this side. This side there's a bit more room to get around, so this clip comes off. We put the dummy valve in, a uh, dummy valve, the dummy clip, just to protect the connectors. So it just it literally just clicks in like that. And then again, this side here connects back into the original motor. I say motor the yeah, it is the valve motor. So, just trying to get the angle. Aha, there we go. Okay, there we go. And that's it. That's literally all it takes to uh, connect it. So. Obviously this thing gets tucked up into the heat shield, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the exhaust to come off. That way I've just got a bit more room and I can make it really nice. 
but in theory, this should now work. I think we might need power. Connected, and that one's connected. Right, let's turn the car on. Well, not turn it on, but turn the electrics on, and hopefully it should work. Right, so, got the remote here on and closed. So you can hear the motors doing their thing. I won't turn the car on because obviously it's closed in here and I'm trying to get the exhaust as cool as possible before like we start chopping it up. But yeah, that's it. The valves are working. So I will use my YouTube magic to fast forward to the exhaust being on and no actually no before the exhaust goes on we're going to tidy up that harness and uh, find somewhere to tuck this box up in the side and then we will have the exhaust on and we'll do the on off with the valve so three two one all right so i've tidied up the harness so cable tied the controller box up in there uh use the provided clips to go onto the heat shield ran the harness all the way behind the heat shield and round to the other side again tidied it up so i'm leaving this uh, quite slack at the moment just so i can then put it in where it needs to be on the new exhaust and then tidy away the rest of this wiring whereas this side should be okay uh, i might just sort of like tuck this up a little bit more but then again that clips onto the exhaust hanger anyway so it might be okay but yeah i might just run a cable tie up here just to hold that all up out the way that plugs into that valve and then yeah so exhaust on and then noise test time so everything's all back together now and if we press on valves open off valves close so not a mega difference but it just gets deeper and a bit more of a grumble but yeah so that is the installation video on the APR exhaust valve remote override whatever you want to call it but yeah just a short little video for that one and the full exhaust video is coming next so make sure to subscribe for that and i'll catch you in the next one cheers